Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. We set out to do uh, another fishing trip in the marsh. Um, do a product review of the shallow water anchor again. Didn't work. We blew the prop about 15 miles out. Had to limp the boat back. Wasn't good. So, I think this video is going to be about replacing the hub and the outboard motor. Thanks for watching. We got a, a, a motor issue and we're out here fishing without a care in the world. Yeah. Well. Yeah, well, I mean. I know people that would have turned around and just went back home. Yeah. Why? I mean, you're, we already got out here. It's going to take us forever to get home, so we might as well just fish it out. Right. Okay, so while we were out on the water the other day, we uh, spun out the hub on the prop. We were way out, 15 miles out, and uh, we were, praise God, we were able to idle it back at five miles an hour back home. Yeah, we were 15 miles out, so it took over three hours to get back. But we got back, and luckily it's it's a real cheap fix what we're gonna do today is we're gonna change this hub out so as you can tell you pull the cotter pin you take that nut off it's an inch and sixteenth socket and then you, the hub will come right off or the prop will come right off now i did take this off as you can see from all this debris on the ground i did take this off because i wanted to make sure i had the right bought the right part so I took it with me and I'm just showing you this one had if you can see in there it's got all this broken this was inside there and it had like rubber around the outside of it there's a new style newer style now that goes in there and this piece went in there like that in those grooves and you know we'll slid on the shaft up here to hold it in place so what we're gonna do today is try to clean this thing up and uh, get this together let me get a rag all right now we got the rag we'll get a flathead screwdriver we don't want to scratch the inside this thing but we got to get all this debris out of there I'm gonna spray this brake cleaner in there, put a rag in there, and really clean it up. Let me do it over here so I don't kneel in it. Yeah, that looks way better already. So the new one we got is like a plastic one. And what this thing does, if your prop gets stuck or spins out or stops, you don't want it to mess up your gears in here. So it'll blow this piece out. Which is a great design. See, that sets right in. Perfect. Now, there is... I am going to clean this washer up. It really don't make a difference, I guess, but... It's important that you have the right size washer. Because without that washer sitting in there, without this washer sitting in the right, sitting in there right, it'll wobble. So I'm just gonna bang this. Make sure it gets in there good. Looks like it can go down a little more. Let's see how this piece fits in. Oh yeah. 
I think I want to tap that down in a little more. But I don't want to do damage to this plastic, so I'm going to use this. Oh, no. What a menace. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I've dumped this thing in the grass so many times. That's why I got sockets missing. But I'm going to just use this and tap it down in a little better. Seems like it can get on there a little better, but we're going to leave it like that for now and try it out. I cleaned this all up. I did. I think I've got some grease. I'm going to grease this up before I put it back together. Let me get the grease. It's important to make sure you use marine grade grease because especially where we fish the water is salt water so you don't want you don't want that salt water deteriorating all right so now, let's assemble this thing. Make sure your lip is facing towards you. That lip's going to sit in here. Now, It goes on like that. I might give it a couple of taps to make sure it's in there. I used the two by four because I don't have a, a rubber ball, a rubber mallet, whatever you want to call it. I'm in the south, so they call it mall. I was couldn't get used to that when I first moved here. Like I said, this is an inch and sixteenth socket. So what we're gonna do is tighten this up. 55 pounds of torque. This thing spun off with my fingers, so it had no torque when I took it off. So I use this block of wood here to hold the shaft. Oops. Okay. That's nice and tight. Let's see if we can get this cutter keyhole lined up now. Where is it? That looks good. Now, let's get this baby back in. Trying to straighten this out a little bit, make life easier when I go to assemble this. Okay. side I mean, we're just trying to stop that nut from being able to back out and just like that there's no forward slot it's got the right amount of slop there and just like that 
that prop has changed. Piece of cake, but look how nasty this stuff was. That just disintegrated. Who knows how long that was in there. But it was a disaster when it happened. Everybody was like, I can't believe you're not upset. I mean, that you bought that motor off a guy and uh, you ain't had nothing but trouble with it. Uh, and to be honest, everything that I had trouble with was just stupid things. Okay, the wire got pinched in the cowling for the uh, trim. It could happen to anybody. It was in the bottom, you couldn't see it, you know what I mean? So the wire got pinched and it popped a few, two relays. The relays were $12 a piece. What do I care? You know what I mean? Now I got brand new relays in there. I don't have to worry about that. Plus, I took the old one of the old ones that was good out. And now I have it as a spare. So, the problems that I've had are so minor that I don't think it matters at all, to be honest with you. I'd rather have new relays in it. Now, if there was work that should have been done one way and it was done a different way and it was just you know shabby work well, that's a whole nother story but the guys are I, I still super happy with the motor I got it runs good it runs strong we gave it a tune-up and uh, I have have no complaints these guys did a great job for me I super happy with them uh, we actually became good friends so I would recommend them to anybody now this hub there's no way to tell how the hub is when you get it you know what I mean you, you you have to take it apart and then take it apart you ruin the hub anyway so you know what I mean what's the there was no way for them to know and what the hub does is if your prop strikes something or gets too much torque on it it'll blow that hub right out of there instead of uh damaging your gearbox so i'd rather pay 28 dollars that well i think it came to 29 dollars with tax for that piece what did it take me 10 minutes to change it you know how much a lower unit costs 2500 3000 I'd rather change that part any day. All right, thanks for watching. Sorry we didn't get any more videos, but they're coming, I promise.